In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove your EGR valve, how to inspect it, how to clean it, and then how to reinstall it back onto your engine. First thing you're going to want to do is take out the engine oil dipstick followed by the 8 millimeter bolts on the top of the cover. Once you take off the cover to the top of the engine, you'll then be able to get to your four 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the EGR valve down. You're also going to want to make sure that you unplug the electrical connector that's on the black end of the EGR valve. Next you're going to need your 11 millimeter deep socket to be able to get off that clamp around the line that wraps around the front of the engine to the EGR cooler. Next, you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to be able to uh, get the electronic part of the valve uh, disconnected from the opening there. Um, I had one small problem. One of the screws uh, was stripped out, and I'm not sure how. Uh, this is the first time it's ever been worked on, but I had to use those needle nose pliers you see uh, to be able to turn it out uh, to pull it out. So. Uh, that's the one problem I had with this. I eventually got that out and then was able to uh, open it up and uh, check inside. So now that we've got the EGR valve pulled apart, we're now going to start the actual cleaning process. Uh, to begin, what I did here is just filling it up with water, releasing the valve, and as you can see, just all of that carbon just starts pouring out. Uh, before I put any any cleaner in there, that's what I wanted to do is just start the process of flushing it out and then we would get later into the actual cleaning uh, solution. With the EGR valve being flushed out first, now we're able to put in the cleaner into both sides as you see there and let it work its magic. After you've let it sit for a little while, you want to start opening and closing the valve, letting things kind of rush through either side. So as we continue cleaning the EGR valve, we're going to keep seeing the carbon build up be washed out with the hose. Uh, you might do it two, three times, maybe even more if you want to get it uh, really, really clean, uh, shiny inside almost. Uh, but it doesn't take that long to uh, to get the majority of it out. And uh, for how uh, little it actually builds up, uh, this is something that uh, you can do in about a few minutes, uh, not not too many times. What I'm doing here is I'm driving the piston through so that it's, it's opening and closing, making sure that all of the carbon is being released between the two barriers so that it can be fully, uh, fully cleaned out. Once you've got it cleaned, you'll put back the electronic module back on with those four Phillips screws 
you'll put the, the clamp back on those four bolts and then you'll put the cover and then the dipstick back on and then you're good to go all right guys that'll wrap it up for the video today i uh, just wanted to uh, say thank you for watching till the end uh, these videos are meant to help you uh, figure out how to do things on your own uh, to save you some time to save you a headache uh, i've gone through it i've done this stuff before uh, I'm, I'm learning as well but uh, Hope this was a help to you. Uh, I was able to work on this truck today. This is not my own truck. Uh, this is a friend's truck. Uh, it, was, uh, it was about time for him to, to get his EGR valve uh, and his EGR uh, cooler to be knocked out. So I did those both today. Uh, this is going to be a both video. So uh, if this was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm just trying to put out quality content that's actually going to be relevant to you to keep your truck on the road. Uh, maybe you don't have this problem. Maybe you don't have to have uh, your EGR valve or your cooler clean, uh, but maybe you know someone who does. Maybe they're not going to delete. They're too afraid to delete. Uh, be sure to send this video to them. Uh, they can do it themselves. You don't need that many tools to do it. If I can be any more help to you guys, let me know. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you thought on the video, uh, what things you would add, or maybe uh, if you've done this before, or uh, how, how I could do a better job next time. Uh, these videos are meant to be, uh, to be a help to you guys. I, uh, it takes a lot longer to do the work because i got to show you guys. So uh, if I can do anything better, please let me know uh, any feedback you have. I uh, just want to be a blessing to be a help to you guys as I'm going through these things myself. Uh, so have a good day.